Shalom. Shalom. We the brothers from the Hillside Barrier Camp on our way to the battlefield to teach the words of Yahweh Shabbat Shai. Coming to you, Akim, with another in transit lesson. First and foremost, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakodash. The double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth. And salutations to all you Akim through the four corners of the earth that's preaching this word in sincerity and the truth. And you know, we're just going to roll in the spirit of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. You know, because I was meditating throughout the week that there's a literally a reward for our works that we're doing. Like, we ain't doing this for nothing. This ain't something we're doing in vain. This is not nothing we're doing just for fun. Us brothers linking up together just to come together and hang out. We're actually um, doing a, a job, you know, the will of Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And by doing this job, there's a, there's, a, um, there's, a, there's a great payday. The Lord has a great uh, check for the men that endure to the end, you know? The priesthood. Come, you got it. Uh, St. Matthew 19 and 27. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Behold, we have forsaken all and follow thee. What shall we have therefore? So coming into this truth, the scriptures speak about being born again, meaning you put off the old man and, and take on the new man. You forsake the ways of the world, you know. And by forsaking the ways of the world, you know, you put off everything, you know. Some of us were... Uh, on our way to becoming top musicians. Some of us were on our way to becoming top um, uh, sports players, you know, whatever genre, because Jake is uh, the salt of the earth, so we pretty much dominated anything. A lot of us just put that aside, you know, because we knew that once we uh, were given the knowledge of this truth, that the reward is going to be much greater. So, continue. Verse 28, And Yahweh said unto them, Verily I say unto you, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which is uh, which that scripture goes back to what reincarnation, because the same spirits that were back during the time of Yahweh Shai two thousand years ago are here today. Uh, it's like the scriptures say, the spirit of the prophets are subject to the prophets. So we are here today doing what we were doing two thousand years ago, following the Lamb, um, the Lord Yahweh Shai. Continue. Yep. And in this lifetime, you know, comes the payoff. Uh huh. It says uh, that ye which have followed me in the regeneration when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of his glory. So when Yahweh Shai makes his second coming debut on the earth, when he comes to get his glory, what are we going to get? Ye also shall sit upon twelve thrones judging the twelve tribes of Israel. We're going to sit upon twelve thrones and judge the twelve tribes of Israel, meaning we're going to be the top government of the next world to come. And that's not, that's not nothing to take lightly. That's a great, powerful position to be placed in, you know, which we know is predestination. But that's why the scriptures say, give diligence to make your call and election sure. And that's one of the reasons why you should give diligence because you know that there's a great payday, you know? Everlasting life, brand new bodies that can't sin, that can't go off, that doesn't get weak. All, everything your hearts desire in righteousness, we're going to receive, you know? Got it. Yep. And the, uh, the first fruits, man, they're going to be the elites in the kingdom of heaven. All of Israel is going to have a glow. All of our people are going to be special. But even within the Lord's elect nation, you know, you have the elect. There's going to be an order set up. Uh -huh. you, have, you have an elect within the elect. Well, the elect, um, you know, as we've seen it, the elect are going to be crowned personally by Yahweh Shai himself. Uh -huh. You know, so that's just, that just goes to add on to what the brothers are saying. The elect going to have a different glory to them, you know, in the mm. kingdom. Uh -huh. That's right. Verse 29, Matthew 19 and 29. And everyone that have forsaken houses, or brethren, or sisters, or father, or mother, or wife, or children, or lands, for my name's sake, shall receive a hundredfold and shall inherit everlasting life. So whatever we lose on this side, we're going to receive a hundredfold. You know? The perfect example was the book of Job, when the Most High. And Satan had a bet in the heavens, and they put Job through uh, pure hell. He lost everything. His family I put to death. You know, he lost his cattle. He lost everything. He, even it got to the point where the Lord even allowed Satan to touch his uh, very flesh. But what happened? He kept his integrity and, and endured, endured the chast chastening. What happened? He was greatly rewarded. He received everything double. He got his children back because they came back during the, um, I think the third generation, which is what? Re reincarnation. He got his land back. He got everything that the Lord took away from him back. So we are being chastised. The Lord is purifying us from the ways of this world. So everything that we lose on this side, we're going to get it back. You know, certain brothers may not uh, have, be able to get women. You will have millions of women on the next on the, in the next world to come. You know, some brothers may be dealing with housing issues. You and struggling to uh, pay your rent. Well, you're going to own 
planets in the next world to come, you know? Everything that we got to go through on this side, like the scriptures say, our, for our light affliction is but for a moment. It's going to be done away with, you know? And that's where your mindset should be at, to know that there's a reward for uh, uh, being in this truth, you know? I had a uh, Yeah, you got it out. This is uh, Philippians 3 and 8. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Yahweh Shai, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them but dumb, that I may win Yahweh Shai. Yeah, so you lose all things and may count it as dumb, that you may win Yahweh Shai, because we know within Yahweh Shai is ever everlasting life, eternity, you know? So whatever we lose, we're going to get it back. Got it. Slack. Oh, oh yeah, Slack. I was going to even say, even to the point, certain brothers are dealing with elements, mm. health problems. Guess what? You're going to get a new body, you know? That's right. You got it out. Yeah, I was going to say, because uh, the scriptures also say, well, Yahweh Shai said himself that uh, he that, that loseth his, his his life for, for um, my name's sake. Yeah, for his name's sake. You know, he that, he that loseth his life shall find it. He that findeth his life shall lose it. So that's a part of us, um, you know, forsaking this world, okay? And anything that comes that hinders, you know, us serving Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we, we we forsake it, you know, whether it's family or anything that comes comes in between of of us uh, uh, serving and worshiping Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, we put that to the side, you know. Yeah. And, and the Lord, the Lord, uh, uh, the Lord sees that, and guess what? The Lord is going to reward us for that, you know. We're going to get it all back. Hundredfold. Yeah, hundredfold. I got I got this real fast. You you got more now? This um, James chapter five verse ten. Take my brother and the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard of the patience of Job. Okay. okay. Hey, can you read that again from the top though? Yeah. It's uh, James five and ten. Take my brother and the prophets. You're the prophets. All right, and we're backing all lot, you know. But with the prophets have always been persecuted, you know. But here in this time now, it's time for the payoff. Yeah. You know, all the suffering that we um that we went through, because we believe we are, you know, the prophets, all the suffering that we went through as the whole four elect, or here's the time now that we're going to be increased at that last end, as it says in Sirach, the second chapter. Yeah. It says, take my brother and the prophets who have spoken in the name of the Lord for an example of suffering, affliction, and of patience. Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard the patience of Job, and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy. Uh, like you said, you have heard the patience of Job, you know, yep. like we used that example earlier. Mm -hmm. That's that We read that as an example, and, and, and to see that, look, the Lord is not a man, uh, it's like a power to um, forsake his, his men that endure to the end, you know? Scripture say, who have ever trusted in the Lord and make a fountain? So we, we endure the chastisement because it's a purification process. Like I said, um, for gold is tried in the fire and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. So we go through these things, we lose things on this side to purify us because we know we're going to get it back in righteousness. Because whatever you get on this side is in wickedness. Yeah. You, know? you get a woman, you get a woman... But she uh, get mad because you got you want to deal with another woman. And, 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 and let's say you do get two or three women. That's causing more hell on you, you know, yeah. on, on this side. Mm -hmm. You know, but in the next world to come, we're going to be able to have thousands upon thousands of women. And they all be ours, belong to us. And we'd be able to take care of each one of them, you know. Yep. Be able to enjoy your children. You can't even enjoy your children on this side. You got to worry about them being indoctrinated in Esau's system, teaching them the ways of wickedness. Homosexual and all this bullshit they teach you in the schools. When the kingdom of heaven, you ain't got to worry about that. To the point where Isaiah 11 chapter speaks about our children, our infants are going to be playing in the fields with wild animals. You, you can't let your little uh, toddler go out and, and you go about your day and you just let your, your kid play out in the field without worrying about, I hope somebody don't snatch my ch children up. <clears throat> All the shit we got to worry about on this side going to be done away with. Yeah, worrying worried about them like, you know, uh, Esau taking them up, trying to vaccinate them, yep. trying to indoctrinate them, you know. It's, 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 like you said, there's nothing but worries in, in this society. It's not Everything is a burden. You know, it's hell. And, and that's what we got to look forward to, that all these things are going to be done away with. You know, there's a, there's a great reward coming for the I, men that keep it, uh, keep uh, focusing this truth. You got it. I had it another This is 2 Peter's. 
chapter three. I'm gonna start at, uh, I'm gonna start at verse 12. It's, uh, it says, Look, um, looking forward and hasting unto the coming of the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. So that's what we look forward to the day of the Lord, the day when the Most High sends these missiles, his army, and destroys his place, destroys America, which is known as Babylon the Great in the Bible, destroys the wickedness. And what comes with destroying wickedness? Righteousness being exalted. Yep. Got it? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And that's what we look for. A new heaven and a new earth for a dwell of righteousness where we can actually live how the Most High wanted us to be. Because this place is known as I die, I mean a Paris, paradise. This, this earth was created to be a paradise, but because you got a cancer in the earth, it, it's turned into a nightmare. Esau, the so-called white man, is polluting everything. The, the water is polluted, the air is polluted. Things that are necessary for you to function on the earth are being destroyed. So when the Yahweh Shire returns, he's going to take the man of sin out of power, which is Esau, so-called white man, and, and establish a righteous kingdom. And that's what we look forward to. You know? That's our hope. That's what we, in this truth for it, to receive salvation and, and to see righteousness established on the earth. That's right. You got it? Now I ask something real quick. It's, um, because when Yahweh Shire returns, we're going to receive everything that he's re he receives. Romans chapter 8. Verse 16, the spirit itself bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the Most High, and if children and heirs, heirs of the Most High and joint heirs with a Mashiach, if so be that we suffer with him, that we may be also glorified together. So we got a, a servant is not greater than the master, Yahweh Shai, he already, he already suffered and went through his, uh, what he had to go through, and that's why we're going through what we go through now, you know? We have to endure our tribulations and sufferings that we have to, whatever we have to face in this, uh, in our, in our walk, in our path, you know. And then after we, after we have gone through everything that we have to go through and endure it all until the very end, what's going to happen? We're going to be, we're going to receive a, a power just like Yahweh Shai is. Yep. You know, we, he's coming back to, to, um, to put the world back in order, man. And then just like he's he's going to be judging the world, we're we're going to be judges judges as well. Uh huh. It says, "For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us." Yeah. So everything that you can receive here, like the brother was mentioning, is not be, um, it can't be compared to what we're going to receive in the kingdom because everything here is all first and foremost it's all, it's all made made by Esau, man. So it's low level. It's very base. And it's corrupt. You know, you think you, you're getting a bad chick now, how much more in the kingdom? You think you got riches now, how much more in the kingdom? You know, you think you're driving a nice car or whatever, nice clothes. How much more of all that in the kingdom? You know, everything is going to be on the highest level. Yep. It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. Yep, so the creature, the creation itself is waiting for the elect to come back into power. Like you tell you that in Isaiah the 14 chapter, they say even the trees are going to rejoice. He said because no failure has come up against thee, because it's going to be pretty much when the Most High created this earth, He created a perfect way to live on the earth, which is what the laws, the statutes, and the commandments. The 613 laws, statutes, and commandments, a way for you to live your life on the earth. And the, the Lord created this earth, and there's different things you you supposed to do, and there's different things you can't do. Mm -hmm. But because the man of sin is in power, He lets you, he teaches you to do whatever you feels good, you know, which is certain things lead to your death. There are certain foods that are lawful to eat. There are certain foods that are not lawful to eat, and there's a reason for that, you know. Give an example, a pig or a swine. The Lord told us not to eat the swine because it's an unclean animal. It was created by the Most High to be the garbage disposal of the land on the earth. It cleans the earth. It eats anything. And it doesn't have any sweat glands. So by you eating that, you're putting toxins in your body, which causes you to be sick. But what, are, what does Esau do? He pushes that as a delicacy on our people. Mm -hmm. So I'm using that as an example. There's 613 laws, statutes, and commandments. There's different ways for you to live your life on the earth. But when Yahweh Shai returns, these ways are going to be established as the order of the earth, you know? When Yahweh Shai returns, the law will be in full effect, you know? 
everything will be in order. The scriptures say, huh, what, a homosexual is supposed to be what? Put to death. Lesbians are supposed to be what? Put to death. They don't bring life, they bring death. The Lord created a man and a woman to be together. You know? It says, for the earnest expectation of the creature waited for the manifestation of the sons of the Most High. For the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. So the creature was talking about us. The uh, members of um, the elect Lord's will was made subject to vanity, meaning we were programmed to go off, programmed to sin. Because it was all part of the Most High's movie, we had to uh, learn wickedness. We had to learn what it is to transgress the Most High's law, statute, and commandments. And we had to learn the judgments that come from that. Which, knowing the judgments that come from that brought forth what? The fear of the Lord, you know? It's all a learning experience. So it says, it says, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, so it wasn't by our own will. Because from the, um, from the time when man was created, going back to Genesis, you had three classifications of men. You, you had the sons of God, which represents the Israelites. You had the sons of man, which represents the other nations. And you had the sons of the wicked, which represents the, uh, the Edomites, the so-called white people. So we were created from the beginning to be perfect. But the serpent, which is the so-called white man, before he lost his pigment, brought wickedness to the sons of the Most High, which brought forth death. That's why when Adam brought the uh, philosophies to Eve, and she brought it, uh, slack, and when the serpent brought the philosophies to Eve, and then Eve brought that to Adam, the Lord said, man has become like one of us, knowing good and evil. Because to be the, the Heavenly Father, you have to know both sides. So when he established the kingdom, we're going to be perfectly righteous. So we are, we've already experienced the wickedness. You know, we've already experienced what, what it is to go off. So we were made subject to, uh, to vanity, not willingly. The Most High made us go off, it says, but by reason of him who has subjected the same in hope. He has subjected us to, in the, the same in hope. The hope of what? Yahweh Shah returning with healing in his wings to give us that what? That new body, that heart of flesh to where we're perfect. You know? So this is one big, we, this is one big um, uh, uh, movie the Lord set up. Yeah. You know? It's like it's one, it's one big life lesson, you know, for, for Jake. And it took us many lifetimes the brother was going into the reincarnations to finally, to finally uh, get it right, you know, so to speak. It's how the Lord set it up. I got a quick precept for Jake. This is um, Psalm two and seven. It says, "I will, I will declare the decree. The Lord hath said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. Acts of me." And I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Which is talking about Yahweh Shai. When he returns, the Lord is going to give him, his father is going to give him the heathen for his his inheritance. And like we read in Romans, we being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, we're going to receive the heathen for our inheritance, you know? That's right. You got it out? Ask of me, and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance in the uh, in the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. In the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. So we're going to possess the earth. Just like oh. Esau, the so-called white man, yep. has rulership over the earth. Going back to Job 9, 24, mm -hmm. it said the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. We're going to have rulership over this planet earth. And not only this earth, the universe. We, Because the, the scriptures also say, in my father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. So you got other planets that the Most High has for us to experience. We just scratching the surface. We don't even know what's on this planet. Yeah. How much more is them super earths? Mm -hmm. Nope. Got it out. It says, uh, thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So we're going to break you heathen nation up. Because you had once had time to uh, possession of us. You once put us in captivity. So-called white men had us in slavery. The Hamites had us in slavery. You know, different uh, Bab the Babylonian Empire, the Egyptian Empire. Yep. All these nations on the earth at one point took part in our our, our, um, our chastisement because the Lord used them to, to uh, jack us up. And it even tells you in Psalm 83, they're all confederate to this day because uh -huh. they all benefit off of off of um, off of the uh, us being in a, in a low and a confused state as a nation. Nobody's saying nothing. Nobody's doing nothing. You know, these other countries. They have their own little autonomy or whatever they, whatever Esau allows them to have, you know, their own little countries, their own positions of power, you know, other than when when Esau, you know, be the devil that he is and 
throw up throw a coop or whatever and um and um invade their land try to take their resources you know take their power pretty much then they want to then they want to relate with jake you know but y'all but y'all hand in hand with this devil so none of you none of you either nations are um are innocent yep. you know it says um thou shalt break them with a rod of iron Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. So it's our God-given right to break you nations up. We're going to break you up, you know, just like you once broke us up. The scriptures say, um, surely it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. Recompense mean to pay back, to pay someone back for their actions. Like we got into reincarnation. Everything is reincarnated. The same spirits that had a part in our downfall, our slavery, they're back on the earth. And they're going to receive their judgment for what they did to us in the past life. Yeah, I was shy. First and foremost, gonna get his uh, revenge on you Roman soldiers that pierced him. And tell you that Revelation one and seven, you know. And we gonna get our revenge because we we may not remember it. The scriptures say there's no remembrance of former things, but we were once packed in slave ships, being put to death in various different lives, you know, yeah. catching nothing but hell. We, you know, the Lord has it to where we don't remember those traumatizing uh, events, but when that time come in the kingdom, we are gonna remember. You know, right. we gonna get every last one of you, you know. Right. Those new bodies, man, we're going to be able to remember every lifetime. Yep. And tell Johnny Ezekiel, I believe that's the uh, 25th chapter of the Most High, he's going to put his anger on us to deal with Esau, Edom. Yep. You know, the anger of the Most High. And the Most High knows everything. So we're going to break you nations, man, you know, down, man, through the spirit of Poppy Hall, by Shemiel Shot. Uh -huh. We're going to break you down just like you broke Jake down. They showed you that in an example of that movie, um, Roots, yep. when Kuta Kente, um, they uh, kept beating him. They was using Jake to do it. Had him whipping Jake's back, talking about, your name is Toby, boy. He said, no, my name is Kunta. Kunta Kinte. He wouldn't give in, but he, got, he caught so much hell, he eventually said, fuck it, I'm just going to give in. My name is Toby. And that's how Esau would do. He would break Jake's spirit. They call it buck breaking. They would take the uh, strongest Jake and bring him in the, mi in, the, in the midst of all the other Jakes, and they would uh, like pretty much humiliate him, yeah. beat him down, break him down. And what the mother would do, if she seen any masculinity in her children, she would whoop that out of them because she, she saw what would happen if that was shown amongst the masters. If you show any type of masculinity in fight, the master would kill you brutally. So she would uh, teach her children to be submissive, you know, so they wouldn't receive that judgment. And Esau knew what he was doing. He's, he's cunning in his, in his, um, his, uh, his, you know, his witchcraft and shit, you know? He knew in the long run it'll be like this. Yep. We wouldn't even have to force it on us no more, you know? Our people are uh, just willingly, you know, you know, effeminate through. Like the Willie Lynch letter. Yep, yep, yep. It, it basically outlined it, what to do, and then it, it said the, the next genera couple of generations down, it really only took like one or two, and yep. then it was our, Jake was already through. Yep. And now it's just, it's just getting worse and worse as it goes on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shah has to return, man, to break that curse, you know? Yep. Really, they got to be put to death. Uh-huh. You know, and then it come back uh, righteous. Yeah, the two thirds on this side, they're gonna die and they're gonna come back. And that's the beautiful part about the uh, the scriptures. The scriptures say, "All Israel shall be saved." Mm -hmm. So, the elect being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, we're gonna receive Lord's will. We're gonna receive that um, new body, the heart of flesh, which is our inheritance. And by our children being born, they're gonna receive what the inheritance of their their parents, which is what them coming back in them new bodies. Because the elect are going to carry the new seed on the earth. The new seed line is going to come through the elect. And the elect are the first spirits created. There's 12,000 men out of each tribe of, of, of the nation of Israel. And the, through those 12,000 men out of each tribe, they're going to bring back the whole nation. You know? Judah, Benjamin, Levi, on down to Ishakar. There's a, an elect that are going to bring back the, the nation. Because the nation is as the, as the sand of the sea. But two thirds, according to prophecy, they're going to die. No. Got it. Um, you got more yard yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, verse 10. Be wise now, therefore, or you kings. So the most high is giving instruction. Be wise. I just gave you your inheritance, which is what? Ruling this earth and the universe. He said, Be wise, O you kings. Continue. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. What's our instructions? The laws, the statutes, and the commandments, which is going to be programmed in us, you know? Continue. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. That's what it's all about, the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. So at that point, we're going to be perfect. You know? The fear of the Lord is going to be instilled in us 100%. Mm -hmm. you know? 
got it. Kiss the sun, at least he be angry. Yeah, kiss the sun, at least he be angry. She's talking about your how was shot, you know. Continue. And ye perish from the way when his wrath is kindled but a little. Uh -huh. Blessed are all they that put their trust in him. Yeah, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. In. At this point, it's the elect that are putting their trust in Yahweh by Shai, and they're going to be greatly rewarded. You know? That's right. I got a uh, Hebrew, Hebrews chapter 6 uh -huh. and 10. All right, he said they're going to be greatly rewarded, the elect. Uh -huh. Hebrews 6 and 10. For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. Yeah, the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your labor of love. Which you have showed towards his servant and, and towards his name. What's the labor of love? Doing his work. You know, ministering, you no know, teaching. Going out to the highways and the byways, putting your lessons out, even though to the world it may seem to be very minute and, and, and pretty pretty much nothing. Oh, y'all just going out speaking. Oh, y'all just putting videos out. You think the Lord going to give y'all a reward for that? Yes. What's the uh, wisdom of Solomon, the fifth chapter? Yeah. We, we fools to come this life, life man. Madness, yeah. They think we bugged out. They think we crazy. And we wasting our time. Yeah. 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 But you got to realize the Lord said it pleased the Most High by the foolishness of preaching yeah. to save them that believe. That's right. So we may look like foolish uh, foolish people to you, but in the eyes of the Most High, we're doing a great work. And yeah, we're doing the most honorable thing uh, one could do under the sun. Yeah. yeah. You know? You actually have to be, you know what I mean, called and, and, and picked to even do this job, you know? Mm -hmm. You have to, well, really, like the Apostle Gavar goes into, you have to even have the vision to see the outcome of the whole job, to see the whole the whole blueprint, the ending, to see the destruction, to see the reward, you know, to see the whole the whole bigger picture, you know, you you the Lord really has to be uh, uh, put a spirit on you, you know, open up your uh, your your spiritual eyes and um, and ears, you know. That's right. Verse eleven, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope until the end. The scriptures say, give diligence to make your calling and your election sure. Uh -huh. So we know that there's a reward, so you got to go give it your all, you know. And whatever talent you've been given, utilize that talent. Don't sleep on your talents. The Most High said when his son returned, he's looking for people that have um, taken them talents and then doubled them, you know. Uh, whatever, however many you've been given, don't hide it in the, in the neck. Yep. It says that you be not slothful, but followers of them who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Uh-huh, followers of them that do it with faith and patience inherit the promise, you know? So we have examples that came before us that we should uh, uh, follow after, like our elder apostles, you know, our elders in this camp, you know, in, in, throughout the four corners of the earth, uh, giving us an example on the way of righteousness, which there's gonna be a great reward. And we, and this ain't something, uh, uh, you better believe the reward is beyond our comprehension. Like, we, we know it's coming, like the scriptures say, eyes have not seen, no ears have heard the most high prepare for them that love them so we know the reward is set as beautiful when we speak about it but we're going to actually experience it you know it's one thing to talk about oh, i can't wait to get that uh fancy car i can't wait and then you actually in it you drive it it's a whole different feeling yeah. i'm using that as an example it's going to be a whole different feeling when we actually in the kingdom there with yahweh shot in them new bodies you know all our sorrows and our pains taken away that's what the, your mind should be on to know that there's a reward. Keep going, you know. Uh, this is St. Luke 12. And um, I'm just going to go to verse 31. It says, But rather seek ye the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes, yeah, seek the kingdom of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Do this work. Strive to be righteous, you know. Do what's commanded of you to do. And the Lord said, what? All these things shall be added unto you. Everything we're reading in the book is going to be added unto you. The new bodies being joint air with Yahweh Shai. Having your own personal chariot to zip around the universe, you know. Personal slave servants, you know. Being able to bash your enemies in pieces. Being able to enjoy your children, enjoy your family without seeing them go through curses and suffering. Yep. You know, being able to enjoy life, being able to live, you know, being able to breathe clean air, breathe, uh, drink clean water, eat uh, uh, raw natural fruit, uh, fruits and vegetables and foods, be able to enjoy life itself. You know, mm -hmm. that's going to be adding us. Yeah. And that's what we gave up this life for. Mm -hmm. 
You know, if you want to call this life, that's what we gave up this shit for, you know? Yeah, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, like the Apostle uh, Kabar said, because we have yet to experience real life. Yeah. This ain't living. Yeah. You know, this is this is hell. It's captivity. All right? This is death, you know? And we, yeah. and we, we hope, that's our hope to be delivered from all this shit so we can actually experience true life, man. Yeah. Righteousness, you know? That's why the scriptures say labor that you may enter into that rest. Yep. You don't have that here. Mm -hmm. This is this this world is polluted and it's it's just gonna corrupt you really. If you're trying to live your life up in this world, it's just gonna end up destroying you. That's why you can't really be at rest here, because it ain't meant for you to be in that spirit here. Mm -hmm. This is hell. So and we that's why we got you gotta have that foresight because we see the um, the better side that's on the way. See so yeah, the the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. Mm -hmm. you know? Like Apostle Gabor gets it to you, gotta have vision. Yeah, yeah, you gotta yeah. be able to see. We, right. The Lord has given us the vision. Mm -hmm. You know, we can see, we can see, we could clearly see this Esau, the devil, is going down and we coming up. You know, that's why YouTube going through all, all these crazy yeah. changes, blocking videos, yeah. trying to stop this worry. It's too late. You should have did that back in uh, like 07 or yeah. 06. Yeah. You know, it's too late. The elect, like Apostle uh, Tahar. So always says a statement which should make sense. He believes the elect are already sealed. You know? Revelations, the seventh chapter says that's when the angels are going to start letting loose the destruction and destroying wind. That's why we see things happening throughout the earth because the elect are being sealed. You know? Got it. Luke 12 and 32, it says, Fear not, little flock. Fear not, little flock. For it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So it's Yahweh's will to give us the kingdom. It's just that he's bound by his word, his prophecies. His yeah. prophecies has to play out. And then once they play out, he's going to give his elect men and his son the king. Because right now his son has his glory in the heavens. All spirits are made subject unto him. But he's going to come down and physically be with us in the earth. He's going to physically reign in this realm, the third dimension, in, in his new body. And get his glory in the earth that he created with the elect, you know? So everything comes back full circle. The elect was with Yahweh Shai in the beginning, creating the earth through the through the orders of Yahweh. Yahweh gave the blueprint. And what? They're going to get it all back, what they had a part in creating. So it's all a pretty much a, 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 the will of the Most High, you know? Okay. Yeah, you got it? That, that was it? Yeah, well, I got one more. Listen, but that's good. So. Yeah, you yeah I, I go after you. Okay. Yeah, this uh, Acts 14 and 22. Mm. It says, confirming the souls of the disciples yeah, good. and exhorting them to continue in the faith that we must do much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. Yeah, we must do much tri much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So it's not an easy walk. Right. This is one of the hardest walks in, in the, on the planet Earth, but mm -hmm. the Lord is going to give us the spirit to uh, um, endure this walk, you know? It's part of that chastisement to hell, you know? It ain't going to be an easy walk. You hear, I'm in the kingdom. I'm in, I'm in glory, you know? It was like, it was, it, that was what was given to us in the beginning. You see what happened, you know? So we got to fight for this. Got to earn it. You know, you got to earn it. You got your children on the earth and you work to get, be successful. You know what it is to put that work in. Yeah, they just born into success and all, they call them spoiled rich kids. They don't know nothing but just being rich, you know? But the person that worked for that, the father can appreciate it because he knew what he had to go through to get that. Mm -hmm. Now, if you take them same kids and you put them in poverty, like, look, y'all going to get this, but y'all got to do what I did. You got to work your way to this. They're going to appreciate it more, you know? That's right. So when we get the kingdom, we're going to appreciate it that much more because we knew the hell we had to go to through to get it, you know? Yeah, we're going to come straight from the bottom. Yep. Yeah. Straight from this shit right here, man, to royalty, you know? Uh -huh. like you had that wicked-ass nigga Drake. He had that song Start st from started from the bottom, now we here, you know? Yep. We literally at the bottom, but guess what? We gonna be here. We, we get how a shot. That's right. You got it. You are, you are. Yeah, uh, this is Second Timothy chapter four, verse five. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions, mm -hmm. do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. Mm -hmm. We gotta endure all the stuff that we going through. You know, you gotta keep keep going. You know, you can't stop. Because if you stop, you you already know what's gonna happen. You know. And we so far in, it's like, why why would you even look back? You know, you should, you're closer to the end than when you first did the beginning. You know, so it just it just makes no sense. You know, box watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's Remember that's that's right. Yeah, they get the consequences thereof. Yeah, it says, for I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is at hand. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is uh, laid up for me a crown of righteousness, 
which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them also that love his appearing. Uh-huh. So, like Paul said, I fought the good fight of faith. I finished my course. Henceforth, there's laid up for me a crown of righteousness. So, finishing your course, there's what? A crown of righteousness laid for the elect. That's right. Yahweh Shai coming back and physically crowning the elect. Putting the crowns on, on brothers' heads. That's 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 gonna be that's amazing, you know? Yeah. Brothers, all brothers' sorrows, everything we ever went through in life that we fuck fuck with us, taken away, you know? That's the that's what your mindset should be in to know that this world we living in, this current bullshit ass society that vexes us, it's gonna be done away with. We're gonna receive a righteous kingdom, you know? That's right. Uh, 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 the Heavenly Father's law, statute, and commandment is gonna be established and it's elects. Underneath your house, child gonna be established, you know. Order is gonna be back on the earth once again. You got one more precept? Okay. You was done already? Yeah, that was it. This uh, Revelation 21, and I'm gonna go to verse 4. It says, And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain. For the former things are passed away. Former things are passed away. No more sorrow, no more death. We're gonna have everlasting life. We're not going to have to suffer going to our family funeral, seeing our, our, our loved ones get put to death. We're not going to have to suffer being under these curses. The Lord going to give us joy, you know? That's right. Verse 5. And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. Uh -huh. Or like the brother read uh, 2 Peter the 3rd chapter, you know? Yeah. Look for a new heaven and a new earth where we dwelleth righteousness. And the Lord's going to make all things new through what? Through this fire. Yep. yep. You know, it's going to renew the earth. Mm -hmm. And how righteous are we? We be in the chariots, you know, and get, actually get to see that. In those new bodies, you know what I mean? Toasting it up, you know, Lord's will get ready to sit that yah yah with our Lord Yahweh Shah. Yeah. It's a great reward, man. And even in these times now, as this place go down, man, you know, we're going to be on the up and up. Mm -hmm. According to Isaiah the 65th chapter. Yeah, that's in, right. Uh, in uh, Job 5, yeah. it says, And he that sat upon the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said unto me, Write, for these words are faithful, are true and faithful. Um, the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shah are true and faithful. So everything that the Lord wrote is going to come to pass. You know? Like we say, you just got to keep going. That's right. Just watch. Yeah, ain't no turning back yeah. now. Just go harder. You know? That's right. We're at the finish line. Yeah, so, you know, with that, we want to give all praises and glory to Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shah, by Shemel Kakwadash. Shalom. Shalom.